Hello my equestrian friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria. So, last time, we took out, at the very, very end of the last episode, took out the changelings. And as you can tell, I've already decided to do a little bit different take. So, uh, I have puppeted Olenia, Queen Velvet's back, and I also puppeted Thorax. Or, you know, the free changing hides. I also gave Chris, the Crystal Empire some territory as well, because I thought they deserved it. Now, I didn't give anything to Sally and Grad, just because they're literally on the other side of the continent, and we're going to get, probably get the event where I'm going to give them territory, which is fine with me, in which I might come back and kill them and take it from them. But regardless, right now, uh, that's how it is. I know I probably took a little bit too much considering the war, war score participation. Oh, well. Oh, well. Changing hives demilitarized. The Great War is over, and countless changelings and ponies lie dead. In the peace negotiations, Equestria has seen fit the newly installed administration of the northern changeling hives and surrounding territory once ruled by the Queen Chrysalis, She'll be turned into a puppet of the Equestrian government. Among other stipulations, it specifies that the changelings have no independent military. All troops shall be under the direct command of the Equestrian generalship, and that they're just a system and paramilitary forces will have to take orders from Equestrian advisors, hoof selected by Cantalot for their moral character and bureaucratic acumen. It is hoped that these conditions, among others, will prevent another war from ever occurring. However, even now there are those in Cantalot itself who say that this peace treaty will only be remembered as a prelude to an even grander and more deadly conflict. Good. Now hopefully we get some sort of event here saying that we divide up our territory, but maybe there is, maybe there won't be. There's another comment from yesterday saying I should focus a little bit more on magical infantry, which I will. Ooh, we definitely need more motorized and support equipment. But now I'm going to actually begin researching magical infantry once it becomes, of course, available, which will be a very, very good thing. Uh, so yeah, the war's over, which is great. Oh, building some dockyards too, I like that. I really like that. Keep building up some more civilian factories because that's a good thing. Hopefully something pops up here. Also, uh, let's see. These two things uh, just auto-completed. Shelter, Queen Velvet, and the Rightful Monarch. Sage a coup? Well, we can do passive influence. Oh, we get some more political power. I like that. Material support. Reforming Empire declare war on the Kingdom of Winged Body. Protect Olinia, which is fine with me. We'll probably do that last. Crystal Empire is no longer under us, but whatever. Oh, good. Now we can do more stuff. A bonus for electronics sounds like fun. I'm not sure what this does. The public demands a referendum. This probably happens after the war, but I don't know. I think this is for, like, I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. Huh. Hmm. But, like, with most of my campaigns, I want to get through the entire focus tree before we call it a complete campaign. So, we'll see what happens. We're good on steel, but not for how much longer. Hmm. That might be good to do. Spitfire research. I get a military factory. Hmm. The dragon questions. Well, since we're at peace, we could probably do this one first. So, the dragons have long been a thorn in Equestria's side, ravaging the local countryside and occupying a large portion of the Badlands. We must reassert our position towards the dragon tribes. Uh, I'll just send all of you guys down here. The king of Vadina joins the Entente. The war escalates. United Dragon Isles. United Dragon Isles. Hopefully they'll agree to our terms. I don't think they're too outrageous, but we'll see what happens. Do I have any screens here? I need more screens. Oh my goodness. Uh, actually, don't get rid of that. Get this, this, this. Good. Come on back over to this side. Yeah, that's not bad. Go ahead and dock. Have a good time. We finally have some po positive political power. Making a couple more divisions. We probably don't need all these divisions. The moderates discontent. The war has ended, but even with victory, many ponies are restless and frustrated with Princesses Celestia's rule. These moderates are demanding control of their own lives and destinies through democracy, seeing as the sisters cannot prevent the deaths of thousands. Oh, ooh, that does not look good. What does that even say? Uh, I mean, there's protests, but still. Oh, I did want to get some of that, too. Well, do we have any motorized rocket artillery? We do have a little bit. You know what? We got plenty of army XP. What if we just went ahead and made you 40 combat widths? Even though motorized, I mean speed. Eh, whatever. Oh, that's probably too much. Remove. Just so that I have enough organization here. Moving the organization ever so slightly. Nice. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Train. Two battalions at a time. And actually, let me re the heck 
do that. Now, another comment was for, as someone said, I should not go to war with Stalingrad later on, but I might do that. I might just do that for funsies. Ooh, and you guys, you know what, since we're here, would it be good to put on some artillery for these guys? It doesn't hurt our speed, it lowers our organization by a little bit. It does give us just so much soft attack. You can't ignore how good that soft attack is. You know what, we'll do it. Nice. Here's more Pegasi. We can still afford it, which is good. Awesome. Now those are some thick divisions. Oh, mage companies too. Oh, I want some mage companies. Oh, I want to make mage companies so badly. Let's get one of these too. That would be nice. Even though we can't really afford it right now. Whatever. You guys, we need some field hospitals. Support artillery looks pretty good. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to... Oh my gosh, holy cow. Since you guys are here, I'm going to pull you off. Put you under someone else. Um, Yeah, this, probably, this, this looks pretty disgusting, but whatever. Uh, if I had to put my guys somewhere, I guess we put them against Stalingrad. Because they leave the alliance. Or they probably weren't ever, ever in our alliance, really. Which is fine. You know, whatever. You guys, you guys can also probably come down here. That'll be fine. Uh, the game's running pretty slowly right now, but that's okay. Never mind. Pretty good. Pretty darn awesome. Great, thank you. Hmm. Cool. Passive influence. Take back the Badlands. Demands Badlands again. Southern naval bases. Our, our navy could benefit immensely from the construction of new docks and ports in the south. A strong navy is essential. I accidentally press enter. And it requires many bases for resupply and repair. Absolutely. So, take back the Badlands. Dragons accept. Most excellent news arrived at Canterlot today. It seems Dragon Lord Ember has wisely chosen to cede the Badlands to us. This will be beneficial to our southern territories and for the map makers. Our little ponies will no longer have to live and worry over the dragons migrating to and from the Badlands and scorching the land in the process. Perhaps excavation missions wouldn't be a bad idea either, after all. The volcanic ground and rock can often be rich in minerals. We are very, incredibly thankful for this. Go ahead and train. Uh, actually, we don't even need you to train yet. Because we haven't spent too much time with our naval XP, because we have so much of it. But yes, the game is a little laggy today, but whatever. Diamond Mountain to play war on the Kingdom of Hellquill. Well, okay, well, good luck with that. It is only 10.13, so the game is still very early. Yeah, some, some might say that. Uh, 1.52, enact war plan, toll of war. Princess Celestia is feeling overwhelmed. The ponies and the military believe in friendship and magic. Cool. So, popular discontent. A growing organized movement. Uh-oh. The moderates have grown in number and pulled their groups into their demands for democratic reform, and now their organized opposition. Now, change is coming. Hmm. I'm not sure how I think about this or feel about this. I don't like it. I don't like this whole thing about change. If that's the case... Oh, it's actually cool they got the actual train in here. Uh, make sure we guard Canterlot. Uh, I want to make sure Canterlot is good and safe. You guys... Where y'all at? I like coming over there. Train if you need to. That'd be important. We could get more army XP. Griffonian Empire is doing some pretty big work around here. They're still trying to kill off Achilleo, which is pretty bad since they want to go to war with both these guys and they're already killing each other off. Mao still exists. They're still trying to kill off these guys up north. That's... Oh, the free northern communes. That is interesting. No support equipment. How's that coming along? Not bad, we could use another stack up there. Go ahead and do this, that'd be fine. And the next thing, oh good. I was hoping we get this done. Let's grab some of this. How many crystals do I have? I have a few, it's not a lot. I need more aluminum. Still trading with Skyfall, which is good. Good, and I do have a cup of equestrian green tea. But what are these guys doing? Velvet's economic plan. The changeling threat, strike first. Let them come. Huh. Cool. It is 1013. We definitely need more research speed first. And then field hospitals, nice. Southern naval bases. Nothing over here yet. 
Ooh, a jungle railway. Yes, please. The jungles of south southeastern Equestria have all been but impassable for a long time. Most of the development has been focused on coastal cities as well. In order to, the, to exploit the vast potential and resources the jungles hold, we shall begin the construction of infrastructure in the region. Okay, do you have Sombra Spirit? Magical training? No, you really don't. You're popular discon. No, that's me. Field Hospital 2. Blue Crystals, Crystal Trade, Royal Family. Maybe we don't have Sombra. Interesting. Cool, this is all nice, but Pony Tax. Um, anything here of interest for me? Military Police might be good. Armored Cars Mechanized might be good as well. Let's get some better guns first, and maybe we'll do some more race tech stuff. Awesome. Anything else here that I really need? Not really. Light tanks are coming along. Sea Gladiator. I have not really focused too much on my army. Or my uh, navy and air force. Go ahead and do that first. Protests for the vote and democracy begin. The moderates and their allies have launched mass strikes and protests against the rule of the princess. Of their princess. Of our princess. Oh my goodness. Construction speed goes way down. I lose political power. I don't want to see that. I just want to build, build, build. What's your problem? You, you don't need... You, you don't need that. No, no, no. You come up top, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in democracy here yet. Now, come on, man. What are you doing this for? What are you doing this for? Well, I thought we were friends. I thought we were good people. Any more cruisers? <laughs> now I need more steel. Hmm. But I know I could lower, uh, what is it? Ooh, logistics one. Yeah, I definitely want to go to, ooh, not free trade. I want to go to limited exports. Hmm. Oh, we can do that now. Earth pointing mining, that actually is really good instead of excavation for now. That's good for us. Oh, I'd love to do this stuff, but we need excavation too. Maybe I should have done excavation stuff. Two days, we're going to get hit really, really hard. Come on. Oh, we can only do three at a time, which actually isn't too bad. And the fall of... Gr oh, the fall of Griffinheim. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice, nah, so we get some radar on these bad boys. Awesome. I don't think I got anything else here. Yeah. Oh, I don't have anything here either. Wow. That's pretty bad of me. Do we have level 2? Yeah, we do have level 2. Good. Some secondary batteries. Do we have any better armor? Yeah, we do. I've been making garbage for too long. Too much garbage here. 2, 1, 2, 3. About to mail. Very nice. Can I make any better rifles? Yes, I can. We won't make too much at a time yet, but we're definitely focusing on that a little bit. Night assault tactics, great. Next up, oh, awesome, more land night attack. More organization for tanks, infantry, motorized, and mechanized. Everyone's training, having a good time. You guys are, you don't really have a big combat with, wow. Oh, and it's because Applejack... Do you have a special thing there? No, no, it's because of Princess Luna. Because she has that little... Uh, warrior Princess own combat with. Ah, oh, I remember the days of old when Field Marshals could reduce their soldiers or divisions combat with. Oh, rest in peace. Old days of having 44 combat with infantry divisions, which would become 40 combat with. Ah, they were so powerful. Motorize. Eh, we're doing pretty well on that. That's not too bad, actually. We're doing better on this as well. Could use a little bit more support equipment. That's okay. Um, you know what? Start building up some of this immediately. But where? Right there. Let's get one going. Manpower or pony power is looking okay. Is there nothing I can do regarding these protests? Perhaps not. No Alicorn rule? I mean, it's still kind of going up. I mean, daily change is 0. .000 something. Oh, we are on extensive conscription. People probably don't like that. We have the Communist Party. Starlight or Glimmer? Starlight Glimmer. Chancellor Naysay. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That might be good for the Griponian Empire. Now they can focus on just one massive front. 
What are the, what are the casualties like? Oh, Griffonian Skyfall. That's a lot. That's a lot, too. Holy cow. The Rumerian War. That's a lot. That's a lot, too. And then, of course, this stuff as well. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. How can the Archon keep this up? They might be able to, actually. How about you guys? Can you guys keep this up? Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, no. It's kind of interesting just watching other people or other nations kill each other off. This Skyfall's even pushing in, too. Oh, ponies. Nice. Hmm. Huh? Well, I mean, I guess technically they are fully demilitarized, but that's okay. Infiltrated companies, nice. Uh, I guess I'll put you under jurisdiction here, I guess. Suppose. Mm. Pony tax. Piercing organization. We can kind of wait on that a little bit. Get some extraction. Get more extraction. Magical weapons. Oh, there it is. Magical infantry. Thirty-five. They're a little better in defense. A little better. I think in general, everything. They take the same amount of supply. They get less piercing, but they cost way less to use. We're gonna use magical infantry, we might as well go big. Nice. Oh, and now we're out of army XP, that's not good. But we do get more daily stuff, and we're a lot of our soldiers are training, so that's kind of okay. Uh since you are here. I guess I could station up here, that really wouldn't matter too much to me. We go to war with these guys? Oh, they changed their flag. Oh, look how adorable that is. King Henrik. Aberg. Nope. Can't go to war with them. That's okay. Alright. Anything? Oh! Search for compromises. Now that the war has ended, ponies have looked inward at the shambles of their nation, their livelihoods, and most of all, the government that so for so long guided them on a path to harmony, but then suddenly led them to a catastrophic war. Now more than ever, they demand power over their own destinies, but order needs to be maintained. What shall we do? Fervent demands for the vote. Do they deserve the right to vote? Well, some of them do. What was that? Magical weapons for special forces. Special forces will require magical infantry equipment instead of... Oh, oh my goodness. That seems kind of expensive. Not gonna lie. Earth pony mining. Good. Now we get more... Ooh, that's not too bad. Or... Ooh. Hmm. Ground support. Ooh. Which one should I do? Earth pony alchemy? Or should I do military application of weather? Let me know, because I'm going to go ahead and just go back to extraction. But which one is better to do? Hmm, I really don't know. I have, we need a general. We can probably get Pinka Mena Diana Pi. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, you're just going to train forever, pretty much. That'd be good. Ah, more divisions. There you go. Oh, they even gave us the Eggers. I love it. Infiltrator companies. So what does this take to get these? Magical equipment. Just magical equipment. Mage companies might be really good. Instead of logistic companies, magical companies might be where it's at for us. And we're going to need a lot more armor ex uh, army XP. Army XP. These are looking... Wow, that royal armor is pretty lacking. Not going to lie. It's pretty lacking. We need more army XP. I need another great war. Military training. Uh, that's fine. We might as well do it. I could use Army XP right now. Region-wide integration. That seems okay. Eventually, I would like to improve infrastructure around here. Especially down here, since it's probably not going to get attacked too harshly. So. Three more crystals seem pretty good. Don't need to build up my puppets for now. Aluminum is important. Steel is important. 
Alright, what else? Uh, we could keep doing that. And then we do we need to do more plane stuff. More plane stuff. More, 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 more. Uh, good, good, good. Good, good. More fuel? I love fuel so much. Well, at least I love it when we have it. If we don't have it, I feel pretty bad. Why is Stalingrad not asked for more stuff? Or, like, the lands. Like, we, we, we won the war. Like, aren't they supposed to, like, ask for this stuff? What are they doing? They're getting a bigger oil industry, which is nice, but, uh... Nestor's plan, union with the Crystal Empire. World Revolution, union with Equestria. Sounds like fun. I'm not sure what's happening. Go ahead and do that. Improve the artillery. We'll probably lower that by five. Yeah, go ahead and do that. We have enough artillery for now. Light tanks are looking great. Do we have medium tanks? No, we need to research that. Excuse me. We need to research that as well. Deponium bomber competition, sure. Ah, oh, we need to do, uh, naval stuff, too. Oh, do you have enough screens? You don't, but you're getting better. Which one only has one carrier? You have one carrier. That's fine. There you go. Let's start training our guys again. Mm, for now, you guys can come up here too. Train, train, train. We have the fuel for it for now. 0.8 a day is pretty awesome. Awesome. Grab some of that too. Oh, smile. Let's mm, we can maybe do something here. Foreign department. Perhaps. We're going to lose quite a few civilian factories, but that's okay. All right, so fervent demands for the vote. The opposition refuses to compromise until their vote is carried out. The protests for the vote of no confidence are growing more and more intense and are spreading all around the nation. We can't afford this chaos at the critical period for much longer. There's, is there no other way to resolve this? Allow the vote of no confidence. We've seen the writing on the wall and we can't deny it any longer. The rule of the Alicorn Sisters has shattered and the ponies are disillusioned. The ponies demand what they call a vote of no confidence so they shall have one. So we remove the national spirit of democratic protest strikes, we get more harmony support, and we lose daily political power gain. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Popular discontent, that's pretty bad. We still have a lot of stability, though, which is kind of nice. Ooh, I know I could use my political power right now, but I'm not feeling like it. Straight with Skyfall's awesome. Alicorn Sisters. I love the sisters. Naval aviation. Ooh, that could be that's de that could be pretty devastating against enemies against former carriers. Decisive battle. I love that one. That's the one I usually choose, but I almost I usually don't use carriers. So moon shadow smooch. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, moon hammer. Madu are strong hammers. A great admiral. The phone empire is still not doing great, but hey, you never know. They never know what they might end up be doing. Yeah, that looks really weird with you spread out like that. I'm really surprised I don't get an event. Well, I mean, what are these guys doing now? Oh, they're doing Detrisium. Well, that's cool. Naval effort. They can still do a lot of techs up there or focus on both sides. They've done nothing for their Luftwaffe. Remote. Huh. Uh, Crystal City. What is Oleni doing? Help the Olenian workers. Squash the bugs. Oh, they have to be fully independent to do that. Alright, cool. We could form a department. Set for schools. Oh, we actually have less things to do here. Huh. That's cool. That's actually probably pretty good for us. Actually. Oh, we can do a cypher thingy as well. Um, I guess Stalingrad probably. It's gonna take a while to do that anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Hmm, magical crypto machines. I like that. But we've got excavation going on now. No, very nice. Very nice. 10, 13. More organization would be good. Let's grab that, though. Good, good, good. Yeah, I need more military factories, but whatever. Getting more dockyard school is kind of nice. Mm, let's spread this out a little bit more. Good. 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 Getting more... Uh, uh, cruisers. Cruisers are very, very important. You guys are awesome. You guys need more stuff right there. I really got nowhere else to put these guys. What do I do with them? 
Unless there's another war coming up, which there might be. Might as well train. Hopefully I don't need all these soldiers. I'm probably going to regret this, but... Good. Pegasi divisions, light tanks. How are the tanks coming along? So light tanks... We got plenty of light tanks. We need motor... medium tanks now. Hmm. Doing well in that stuff. Magical equipment. We might as well do that. We got support weapons for... And wait on that. Let's grab that next. And then focus a little bit more on air stuff. Air stuff is still pretty important. I always usually leave that or naval stuff at last. So that's not good. Oh, are they fighting these guys too? Oh, yeah. You're pretty much dead then, Kryponian Empire. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to go bye-bye. Government Cypher School is very good. A little bit of lag. Oh, and they actually took stuff. They just, they just took stuff. They don't even ask me for it. Wow. I was going to give it to you anyways, but wow. You just... That's demanding. They actually took... A good chunk of land. They didn't take that much land, though. I mean, a good chunk, but not a huge amount. Uh, what else can we do here? Guns? No. Capital ships? Death threats? Throwers? Uh, yeah, base strike. There you go. There you go. Nice. Still got plenty of political power. Ooh! We need aluminum for a fact. Everything else is kind of okay for now. Anything else? Stop trading. I don't think I will. Go ahead and start doing all this stuff for as we can do it. We're going to really not have that much here. There we go. And build stuff right there. There we go. Vote. Allow the vote no confidence. We don't have any other twist than to listen. What are the results of the vote? Their numbers were smaller than we thought. We have the majority, but their vote is too close. Or the vote is too close. The majority is with the protesters, but it's close. Oh, we get more stability. Oh, no. Princess Celestia loses stuff. Oh, that's not good. There is a resounding call for democracy. The Grand Equestrian Republic. Uh, their numbers were smaller than we thought. Hmm. Prevent the vote. Well, we haven't done that. Jail dissenters. The end of the Civil War. Oh, goodness. Is that a... Oh, my goodness. That flag. Hmm. Uh, the diet is to be established. Constitutional monarchy was allowed. Oh, my goodness. I gotta really pay attention here when I don't want to. Um, hmm. The new equestrian republic. So there's that. Daily harmony support. The... Sp Species Rights Act. The Grand Army for a Grand Republic. The Power of the Diet. Oh, commoners. Merchant Republic. Wow. Trusting in Old Wisdom. Okay. Overrule the Monarchy. Ooh. Or reaffirming the Princess Dumb. Maintaining traditional autonomies. Wow, Consumer Goods Factories minus 0%. That doesn't seem really good. Centralized power on authority. Appease the ponies. Faith in a harmonic... Ooh. The numbers were smaller than we thought. I'll go with that one. Yeah. So, much to our great relief, a majority of ponies still believe in the monarchy, but her redemption must be swift, lest we want to lose their remaining hope. Yeah. Oh. Transitional government. That's fine. We currently get to 1.17. Pro princess landslide at the polls. Oh, sweet relief. Let normalcy return once more quickly. Ah, protesters, they were overblown. This is fake news, you know. Fake news. Oh, we can actually build stuff again. Finally. Thank goodness. How's Wing Party doing? Do they get any more pony power? Or wing power? Uh, griffin power? Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, well, they're gone. Cool. Yeah, they're so strong. Oh, boy. They're probably, yeah, Archon. Oh. We, bar we hardly knew the Archon. Hollow Shade, that's awesome. <sighs> Monarchy remains, my friends. Timberwolf, great. Awesome. Well, we must well just not even do the next one. We'll keep making light tanks for now, that'll be fine. Support companies. Ooh. Maintenance companies would be really good. This stuff would be good to do as well. Engineering would be good to do as well. Yeah, I could make that. Might as well. 
Go ahead and tr change. Uh, we're not going to change anything yet. Just start throwing these guys on there. Even if it costs us some political power, or not political power, army XP, that's still okay. You guys, thank you. You're going to train forever. The Coast Guards, you guys train as well, since some of you guys are lacking a little bit. Uh, magical infantry, will we... Why don't we use those guys? 40 combat with infantry. Yeah, 40? Well, we can throw on mage companies, absolutely. We can probably throw on some motorized, too. That'd be great. Start making some. Make two. Because I might convert my divisions to use those guys instead. And I definitely want to increase the size of this group as well. Hmm. Supply-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. We're out of our deficit of motorized and support equipment. We need a lot more magical equipment, though, now. Hmm. That'll be good. Lower that by 5. Bring this up to 20. Ah, I'll probably lower that by 5. That'd be fine. Tanks? We need a lot of tanks. Tons of tanks. Carrier naval bombers. Do that, too. Well, we probably don't need that many. We need some steel, though, and aluminum, which is not good. But I think we are doing fairly okay ourselves. We're trying to get... Oh! We're trying to build ourselves up there. That's not bad. Hmm... Got a couple more divisions ready to go. Wow, we can build 11 there. That's probably... Huh. Oh, we actually built up a lot more things. Nice. Well, we're going to build up some more civilian factories, too. Help produce more stuff. I don't mind working a little bit on infrastructure as well. Thank you, my good friends over there. You guys are looking okay. You go ahead and train a little bit more. And then you guys are looking okay. And you guys are looking okay as well. How much motorized? Oh, we need a little bit more motorized. That's not good. Motorized. Yeah. There you go. We're going to constantly be making more military factories, which would be a great, great thing. Oh, we got a lot of naval XP at too. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What's going on? The Graponian Empire has been... Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Why did you become the Graponian Empire? Wait, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? You took him out. Achillean Federation Republic, or Federated Republic, took uh, mostly out, but... Th oh, this border gore is so bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Recon? Recon? Yes. Infiltration in depth. What? So... I guess that's a decision that they could take. That's a little insane. I'm not going to lie. They, oh, they made the capital Griffenheim. Okay. Okay. I, I guess I could go along with that. That is intense. Not going to lie. That's really, really intense. Twilight? We might as well go for that one next. We might as well do that too. But wow, I was not expecting that. I've never seen that. But then again, I don't play a question war a whole lot at the time of this recording. Wow. Wow. Match equipment is going very well. Medium tank equipment is going pretty okay. Carrier plans, we're getting that done as well. But I pretty much that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode once we finish or reaffirm the Princess Dumb. Oh yeah, look at that. Everyone believes in Alicorn rule to their last dying breath. Let's grab some nuclear reactors, that'd be fun. We got some Thunderbolt AT rifles. Let's grab some of not that. Mechanized, sounds like fun as well. Special, oh, special forces. Eh, we can wait. Let's get some mechanized. It only takes 46 days, and we shall have reaffirming the princess dumb. Who maintain traditional autonomies? Which one should we do, guys? Maintain traditional autonomies or centralized power on authority? I'm feeling like we should go with centralized power and authority, but let me know in the comments below as well as how Wing Bardi became the Griffonian Empire. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we have a great time with Equestria and her allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.